Hey, it's Rick here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the Anchor Bluetooth keyboard cover. This one is the model TC930. Now, this is pretty slick, I gotta admit, and if you're somebody who likes to use your iPad kind of without anything on it, this might be a good way to go. Uh, again, here's the packaging that it ships in, and I will tell you, it's gonna run you about $29.99. They've got it for all models of the iPad. I'm gonna show it to you today for the iPad Air. Inside of that box, you've got a couple of manuals and things like that. There's a couple of rubber footers here. If you wanna put them on this portion of the case, you can certainly do that. You've got a micro USB, uh, USB cable for charging this guy up. And it acts just like a smart cover. So I've already put it on my iPad Air and you can kind of see what this is going to look like attached. Now, I will say this, with this particular case to get it full benefits out of it, you really can't put a back shell on your iPad and you'll see why in just a minute. So if you're concerned about the back, you're probably gonna to wanna to put something like a skin on the back of this. It attaches via the same mechanism as what you would see in a smart case or a smart cover. And you can see right here, we've got an area for charging and then that is your on off switch. Cool thing about this, it utilizes the automatic sleep and awake feature. It's gonna put your device to sleep when you close it and it's going to awaken it when you open it. Now I do find uh, it's a bit finicky uh, to where sometimes it'll actually activate and sometimes it won't and sometimes it won't put it to sleep entirely as well. So uh, I've got some mixed usage out of that. Now I've already paired this. You flick that switch on to pair it. It's got some instructions right up here. You hold the function and the C key at the same time. Kind of has a little bit of a uh, glossy look to it up here. So it is gonna show a little bit of fingerprinting. But the cool thing, and this is why I say you really can't use this with anything but a, um, uh, like a, a, a skin on the back is because you're gonna put it in this groove and that's how you're going to make this work. So uh, let me go ahead and pop this in here and you'll see how this works. When I do that, I don't know if you heard the click, uh, but that's because it has an integrated stand for this right back here. Let me take it out for just a minute and you can see this. And so that stand is what pops open when you immediately pop it into here. So if I close that like that, you see it goes down. If I press this, you can see it pops up. You don't have to press it, you just put your iPad in there and immediately it's gonna pop open for you. But you can see why a back shell isn't going to work with this. Now I've already paired my, uh, my iPad with this one. So let me go ahead and just hit return here a couple of times and you will see the responsiveness here. There really isn't much in the way of lag um, and I'll just type in testing, uh, one, two, three, return, hi there. And that's really about it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it works. It works as advertised. There's not a problem uh, any way, shape or form with this keyboard and its response and its function. So I like it. I mean, if you're looking for a keyboard case, this is a pretty nice way to go. Uh, the one thing you gotta keep in mind, as I said, is one, you really can't use much else with this. So if you're concerned about back protection and you really wanna get something like this, you're gonna to need to throw on a back skin. And two, the sleep awake is a bit finicky for my tastes. It sometimes awakens the device, it sometimes puts it to sleep, but it doesn't always do it consistently. So that might be an issue for some. I know it's a bit of an issue for me. And therefore, I'm gonna give the Anchor Bluetooth keyboard cover case a three and a half out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.